Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to do something very special and very critical. And we're going to use some jigs. I want to show you how some of these jigs work. And we're going to do one that is very important for the armrest. And that's coming right up. We are back. What we're going to do today is we're going to take this guitar body and we're going to get ready for the armrest that's going in here because very soon we're going to finish the top, glue it on, and then I won't have access to this, so I want to do it now. Now here's what I have done. I've actually taken a ruler and measured every so often a measurement to get the thickness in here. What I did next was to transfer these little marks from here to the front side of the guitar, or the outside of the guitar, and I drew, drew a line down along here, and then I just simply took a pencil and roughed it in. Now I know that that line is the particular important line because it is the bottom of the armrest support. And I have another jig here and this is a piece of flexible plywood which my mentor gave me and it has a curvature already cut in here which is what I want to line up here. Now, what I intend to do here is to turn around and tape this, and I just, because that line is the absolute bottom that you saw just a moment ago, I want to tape that into place so that it doesn't move. And I will show you a detail of that in just a second. This is great tape. This, by the way, comes from an automotive supply house and it stretches, so when you pull it, it really ties in very nicely. In building guitars, you use a lot of tape. Oh man, do you use a lot of tape. All right, there it is. So with the flexible plywood taped in place, and you use a lot of tape when you're making a guitar, I simply take this and run this pencil along here because what I'm trying to do here is make sure I'm at the bottom of the support piece so when I actually run the router and the router bit, think of the bottom end of this pencil as the router bit along here like this, I want to make sure I'm inside in the thick part of this piece of support so I don't ruin the guitar. If you go too far the other way, you'll go through the side of the guitar and then this is scrap wood. Although I suppose you can make a very thin body up here and make it a wedge guitar, but that's what we've done. So we've got this, uh, we're gonna use this little jig again. Doesn't seem like much of a jig, but let me tell you, this is important and we know where it lines up. So I am making a line so I can come right back to this place and you'll see that right here. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for being here. If you would be so kind as to subscribe down here on the left side 
and hit the bell to be notified of subsequent videos when we put them up. That'd be great. We are going to have a Q&A, a Tea with Monty. So by all means, please send in your questions. You can send those to teawithmonty at gmail.com and I will get those and we'll gather them up and I'll answer as many questions as I possibly can. If you have other questions, by all means, use the links that are down below and shoot them along. You'll also see down below some merch. I've been told to talk about this, but there is a mug down there if you want to join me with a Tea with Monty mug. Um, that's up to you, thank you. But hey, I'll have that here. And So thank you very much. That's it for me. I'm out of here. Man, gotta have that English breakfast tea. Way to go, Britain.